it's Macy, and this is the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban tag. In honor of the 20 year anniversary of the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book, I decided that I would do this tag. This tag was originally created by Tessa Netting, whose video will be linked down below. I love her a lot, so please go give her a lot of love. As most of you know, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite movie and my second favorite book, so I thought it was only appropriate for me to celebrate by doing this tag. I love this movie and this book so much so that I did an entire video as to why the movie is my favorite Harry Potter movie. That video will also be linked down below if you want to go check that out. All the questions from this tag will also be listed down below, so feel free to do this tag if you'd like to. I've got my laptop right here, so let's get this started. Alright, number one. Say, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Number two, which family member would you inflate like Aunt Marge? Sadly, I think I'd have to say my sister just because she knows how to get on my nerves and push all my buttons. Number three is, would you want to take a ride on the night bus, and if so, where? I'd say yes. <laughs> I would have it take me to Diagon Alley. Number four, ah, Dementor, faint like Harry. <sighs> Now at number five, get some chocolate to make you feel better. Sadly, I don't have any chocolate, so we're gonna have to skip this one. Is Lupin your favorite Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher? Why or why not? Yes, Lupin is actually my favorite Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher because he's my favorite Harry Potter character. Number seven, if you had a bug art, what would your bog art turn into? This was a really hard question for me to answer, but I think my bog art would maybe be like a dark room, like it would turn the room dark, and maybe there'd be like a weird demon thing in the corner or something, or something weird with like demons because I'm really afraid of those and like I'm afraid of the dark and stuff like that. Number eight, grab a cup of tea and pretend that you are a divination student or a divinations teacher and predict the future. What do you see? I don't have any tea right now, but I'm gonna say that I see a sun. Um, so that means some happiness in the future, hopefully. Number nine, what would your Protonus be? Mine, according to Pottermore, would be a dolphin. Number ten, what store in Hogsmeade would you be most excited to visit on a trip to Hogsmeade? Only Honeydukes, because I have such a big sweet tooth. Question number eleven, what would you do if you found the Marauder's map? I would use it to find my friends so I can hang out with them and see if they're busy. Also, maybe to sneak out at night, but shh. Question 12, who was your favorite Marauder? This is a really hard question for me because those who know me and know my love for Harry Potter know that I am obsessed with the Marauders. I love that era, I love them so much, but I would have to say Lupin considering he is my favorite Harry Potter character. Question 13 is, which three friends would you choose if you had to make your own group of marauders? I would choose my friends Sophia, Donna, and Josie because we all just have so such good energy and such a good time whenever we hang out together and I love them a lot. Question number 14 is what is your marauder like nickname? Like what would your nickname be if you were a marauder? This is another really hard question because like I don't have any nicknames. I don't really have anything that kind of like the only thing I can think of is like this nickname. Like mine would be maybe like Moo because like my dad used to call me like Moo when I was a baby so like that could be something and I really like cows so like I don't know moo I guess. <laughs> Question number 15 is who would you choose to be your secret keeper? My best friend Molly from like where I live like I love her more than anything and I honestly would trust her with my life. Question number 16 is would you rather fly on a hippogriff or a broom? I'd choose a broom. Question 17 is if you were an animagus, what animal would you turn into? I personally love cats, so I would turn into a cat. Kind of a basic answer. Question number 18 is if you, if your animal, what turned out to be an animagus like Scabbers, what type of human or what type of person would that animal be? I have a dog, her name is Sadie, and she is just so anxious all the time and she looks so anxious all the time so I think she would just be like a really anxious person. Question number 19 is would you rather be a werewolf or be married to a werewolf? I personally would be one of want to be married to a werewolf. Question 20 is if you had a time turner what would you use it for? Like as I'm an artist I would use it to get as much art done as possible because my projects take forever and I always have so many of them that having a time turner would be just so helpful. I would be able to get so many projects done. Question 21 is what is your favorite scene from the Prisoner of Azkaban movie? My personal favorite scene is the whole bog art classroom scene with Lupin. That is just a, such an amazing scene with the music. Question 22 is what is your favorite quote from the Prisoner of Azkaban book? I am so basic, so basic, but I have two. The first one is 
Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. And my other one is don't let the muggles get you down. Question 23 is, is The Prisoner of Azkaban, the book, in your personal top three of the Harry Potter series? Yes, The Prisoner of Azkaban book is number two in my book ranking. And now, number 24, say, mischief managed. If you enjoyed this tag, then please feel free to do it. It's open to anybody. And also, again, please go check out Tessa Netting's original video because she's so amazing and I love her so much. If you like this video, then please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my face in the future, then please feel free to subscribe down below. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye!